I'm Shavi, and I am your Integrative Nutrition Health Coach. We have to talk about education, CVs, getting a job, um, all the good stuff that brings us some money. <laughs> Fortunately, a lot of us know, don't even know where to begin, right? So say you want to uh, start a new job, or say a new career. I'm a nerd. Confession. I'm a nerd. I get certified in the stuff as a hobby. One of the reasons why I do it is because I'm cheap. I know it, it costs money, but I'm really cheap in hindsight, right? It all started a long, long time ago when I wanted to work with a personal trainer. And I realized it was, it was going to cost me almost $300 a month to work with a personal trainer. So I took it upon myself to be like, I'll just become a personal trainer and train myself. And I got certified as a personal trainer, not really to work with anybody, but really to know what I need to know to train myself when I need to be trained. That's simple. But in the process of doing that, I found out some really cool stuff, right? So if you're trying to build up that resume, like the last video, when we were talking about resumes, we need to put stuff in the resume. So if you're like a cashier trying to change your direction in your life, we need to put some different stuff on there. So here's some tricks that I found that just works and it's so easy, right? So Groupon, Groupon, I'm like, Shavi, seriously, Groupon. Yes, Groupon. And this video is not sponsored by Groupon, however, you know, if, if it wants to be, I mean, it can't be, <laughs> but it's not. So what I like to do when I'm bored and I just want to have a book or something like that, but instead of buying a book and not getting paid for it, you might as well get paid for something that you read, go on Groupon, type in whatever you're interested in, and chances are you'll see some really cool classes, and those classes are, like, legit. Some of them are legit. Um, so you're going to get that Groupon, take the class, add it to your resume because, hey, that's the certification that you got and then go out and try to get some experience, right? Certifications are awesome. Another thing that I think a lot of people overlook of the certifications is that I've met a few young gentlemen that are like, oh, I'm going to college because I want to be a personal trainer. And I'm like, yo, you know, you can get a certification for that. You don't even have to go to college. I'm just saying, you know, so really look into those certifications and what's out there for you. They're very inexpensive. Groupon sometimes can sell us a thousand dollar certification for like $50. Like it's that serious. I don't think a lot of people are using Groupon for that matter, but shout out to Groupon. Um, definite, definite resume builder right there. Second, if you don't have good mentorship in your life, no one has went down that uh, journey for you to help you um, out to reach your goal, the best thing that I can say is always do like reverse planning, right? Or backwards planning. So if you would like to become a psychologist, because I deal with a lot of people who want to do the SWIP and, you know, CPIP and all that other stuff. And you need to know where to start. And I'm going to do another video talking about CPIPs counseling. And it can get very uh, confusing. But anyways, so I don't digress. You're going to do backwards planning. So act like you're about to get the job, right? Act like you're applying for the job. And this is where the gold piece of this equation lies. You're going to act like you're about to get a job. And you know you ain't qualified because you don't have the education. But however, they're going to tell you what you need in order to get the job. Okay? If you need to be certified in QNX training, they're going to say, hey, unfortunately, you do not qualify because we need this certification. Get your notebook, write it down, do a Google search, see where you can get it on the low low and get it. And then once you get everything that they said that you need, you go back and you apply for a job. This is real time, real time stuff. So a lot of people tend to 
you know, go to college, get their training, and then apply, try to apply for the job. Like, I got my college, you know, I got a degree, but you don't have experience. I learned that the hard way. And I'm still learning. I'm still paying for it, right? So I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to change lives, make a difference. You know, I wanted to do all the good stuff that came with the doctor. However, I don't have anybody in my family that's a doctor. And then my advisor was not good. You know, to be like, no, you're not going to do this. Do this. Let me guide you. Let me advise you the right way. That didn't really happen for me. So um, I just was out there unknowing. I was in college, like, oh, I'm a pre-med major, bio, double major, actually, bio, business. I'm going to go to this hospital. I'm going to get me a job. I went to, to apply for a job, and I'm like, I'm a biology, pre-med, you know, like, I'm qualified. Uh -uh, wrong. I'm, I'm, I was so not qualified, right? No. So what I had to do, what, what I decided to do, I decided to take time off from college Gain experiences, and that's where all the certifications and stuff started coming in. I became certified as a CNA to give me uh, real world like experience working with patients. So I became a CNA, and then the CNA actually opened up the door for me to work in the ER as a medical scribe. And then working in the ER as a medical scribe gave me access to the OR where I became an, a labor and delivery scrub tech. You see how this goes. Right, So I gained that experience of working in those areas, but it, I had to take a step back and try to apply for those jobs. And they were like, no, you don't qualify. Now, if you are um, in college and you want a job, my best advice is to research what are the teaching universities in your, the teaching hospitals in your area. Those are the best places that I would say for you to work. Because they will teach you. They will give you that experience. And chances are they're going to set you up for success. Just You just have to be hungry. And they're, doctors like feeding people. Education. You know, like knowledge. I know this and they're overflowing. And they just want to teach you. I had wonderful experiences with the doctors that I work with in the ER. They would quiz me after each patient. I love it. I love it. But going back, it's all about backwards planning. Another thing that I would highly recommend, even if you do not want to get the rejection because that rejection hurts, you can go to, um, what is it, Labor Bureau? I'm going to probably put the link in there. It's going to be in Google Classroom. Um, but you can do, you can research the career that you want to do, right? The salary and everything and what it takes to be that. That's where you can start generating that checklist that you need to do. If you need a bachelor's, check. You got a bachelor's. Do you have to have CPR? Check. You got CPR. Do you have um, experience? That's where that certification might need to come in. You might need to take a step back, get a quick, a quick, quick, quick certification. Um, get that and try to reply, apply. I know I may, may not have spoke very fast in this video, but I want to just touch on that, on how to backwards plan. How to backwards plan and then moving into the next video, which I'm not going to get on that because I probably could get long-winded on the next video. But I'm going to talk about education, another um, add-on to the CV and the resume, and now gain, gaining the experience. And now let's talk about uh, education that's going to be in the next video. Best wishes to you on your journey. I am Shavi. I am your integrative nutrition health coach. Make it happen. <laughs>